next video so today i'll be talking about how to uh, download a pdf from a particular url and display it on your android app without using any third party library uh, in react native's new architecture with fabric so before that i want to make uh, tell you that this video is only for android for ios i'm facing some issues so i already raised this issue on stack overflow as well as on uh, react native's new architecture discussion like i don't know i have uh, created several videos on fabric but suddenly i am facing this issue for the past two days for ios so i would request you if you know the answer you can uh, just share the answer um, over here or if even if you don't know the answer i would request you to upload this question or give it a thumbs up on both stack overflow or on this github link i will share both of these links in the description uh, i already have the code but uh, I am not able to make a video on iOS because of this issue. So uh, yeah, if you have time, just upload it or go through it. But yeah, uh, let's uh, hop on back to the video. So for Android, what you have to do is, so I have just created a default React Native project, and then you have to enable the new architecture for Android. So just search for new arc enabled. Okay, and go to Gradle dot properties. Make this as true and then you can run yarn android just to make sure new architecture has been enabled so in the metro bundler you should see fabric colon true which means new architecture has been enabled next we have to go to fabric native components and uh, we have to create this folder again this folder should be present inside the project and not outside as uh, shown in the documentation otherwise you will face any issues so i will go to my project i will uh, create this uh, folder rtn my pdf viewer and inside that i will create an android and js folder inside js i will create this file again i have copy pasted this from the documentation which you can see over here only the file name has been changed okay this file name has been changed then we have to create this package.json again i have copied it from the documentation uh, only this name has been changed this has been changed and this has been changed if you want you can change it over here as well but these are like github links so you can avoid it next we don't require about the pod spec because this is for ios but if you want you can create it but again this is for ios stuff and i'm still figuring out for ios so next you have to go to android you have to create this build.gradle file so here you can see i have copy pasted this from the documentation only thing that has been changed i have added this kotlin dependencies uh, because i want to use kotlin and not java next i have added this touch image view dependency because this provides a easy zoom in zoom out feature for your uh, image view if you try to use the normal app compact image view then you will have to write extra code to make sure that uh, image view is zoomed in and zoom out for that feature there was another dependency called photo view as well but uh, that has been uh, like there has been no proper maintenance of that library that's why i have tried to avoid that library but if you want don't want the zoom in zoom out feature you can use the normal app compact image view as well but i am using this touch image view because i want the zoom in zoom out feature next i am using the life cycle dependency because i want uh, to access coroutines as well and make sure you change this as well rtn my pdf viewer okay next what you have to do is you have to go to android build.gradle you have to add kotlin version as well over here and this and inside app build.gradle apply plugin kotlin android over here as well as you have to write uh, this as well okay uh, you don't have to worry about this dependency over here because this was part of my debugging but you nef definitely need these dependencies in this build or gradle of rt and my pdf viewer next you have to create src main java com rt and my pdf viewer just create this file and here uh, the only thing which you have to change for now just return empty list in create view manager because you have not run code gen yet okay next for running code gen what you have to do is so we will ignore ios for now 
so you have to run this command but in our case it won't be double dot only a single dot because we have created this folder inside the project so just go to app.tsx and run this command okay then you have to do cd dot dot okay you don't have to run this command uh, because we are not doing ios right so uh, next what you have to do is you have to see go to cd android okay don't do cd dot dot so just go to the root of your project once you run this inside the root of your project just do cd android and run this command so it would do code generation for your android next uh, coming back to writing the exact code so you can create this file my pdf dot kt and honestly i have copied the, this uh, file from uh, code from stack overflow so yeah if you so basically like i will try to explain you it to you what exactly happens is here, here is that once we get a url uh, we are using the download manager to download that file then we are saving that file to internal storage of your app so once it is stored to internal storage as my pdf dot pdf it will be only accessible to your app okay i'm not sure what is happening over here okay okay so this is like uh, again this is download manager's code so, okay and again this i have copied it from stack overflow even i don't understand like saving a file in android is pretty complicated so you can just go through this code or pause the video if you want to and yeah so yeah this is all like file downloading code like it depends on where exactly the file you are downloading from so you have to write all these kind of scenarios okay so this this function is important so what it does is that the add image fling means uh, it will like when you try to you know move from page one to page two of of a pdf so this uh, to do that we use add image fling and here we are actually getting the file and once the file has once we get the file we are calling the render pdf method again this is file downloading this is for right swipe and left swipe oh so this should not be right swipe left swipe I, I think the function name is wrong it should be up and down okay but i think it's fine you can just rename it as up, swipe up swipe down okay now show pdf so here we are actually rendering the pdf so if you look into react native pdf library uh, the main problem which i have with that library is that it is still using async task for android and async task has been deprecated a long time ago we should not be using async task and second thing is it is using this uh, pdf viewer library I, I i will show you that library android pdf viewer okay it is using this library now again this library like you can see the last commit was four years ago so why would you use this library also another uh, so this library is used internally in react native pdf that's what i'm trying to say also this library adds around 16 mb uh, of a file size uh, increases your app size by 16 mb now i can know you my, might use android app bundle or split apk to reduce the app size but still i think minimum it added three adds three to four mb now if you use my method it will hardly add uh, like i don't know 10 20 kbs because i am following the right method which is recommended by google which is using the pdf renderer uh, please do not use this library again i'm not trying to uh, you know talk bad about this libraries like i know uh, maintaining an open source library is extremely difficult and this library was great like four years ago five years ago when we did not have any uh, proper uh, pdf renderer from google but now that we have it please use that because this is not the recommended library again the author has like abon abandoned this library i guess so yeah again i'm also i'm not trying to talk bad about or trying to shit about a react native pdf again maintaining an open source library takes a lot of time and energy but the problem is they are not doing it the right way so that's my main issue it might be extremely easy for you to integrate a third party library but trust me you will face a lot of issues once you go into production when user have all different sorts of devices 
and there could be a, a chance that uh, a sync task may be completely removed from a particular android device or maybe in the future so be p future proof i would say so again here we are rendering the pdf using pdf renderer then render pdf and then this is for you know up and right swipe again this uh, code i have copied it from documentation like even i don't know much about it so yeah if you want you can pause the video and uh, slowly go through this code if you are interested yeah and uh, like ios code is extremely easy uh, yeah android is pretty difficult so next we you have to create this file my pdf view manager again i have copied this file from documentation only changes naming change as well as java has been converted to kotlin okay so name changed you here you can see name changed name changed this should be proper according to your folder name and once we get the url from react from react's prop then we are calling the set set up pdf view which you can see over here okay next in package.kt now instead of returning empty list you can write something like this and this again i have copied it from uh, stack overflow so you can copy paste if you are interested okay so i think uh, already told you guys this i already told you this now to use it you can just use something like this and you can pass your url whatever you want make sure uh, the url which you are passing is https and not http if you are using an http you will again face an issue like uh, there is some xml file which you have to add with clear traffic equal to true in android manifest something like this okay so make sure you use https url and not http and next also make sure you add uh, in android manifest uh, you should add uh, users permission of internet so i think yeah that's it thank you for watching bye